right, welcome back. Uh, so in my last video, I showed a few different ways that I use to find the lands uh, while I'm, when I'm getting ready to uh, start loading for a new barrel. Um, my favorite being uh, using the bolt itself by removing the uh, ejector as well as the firing pin and spring so there's no tension while it's in the action. Um, in that video, I did not show the process of breaking the bolt down uh, just to save a little bit of time. Uh, so just wanted to go through that super quick here. Um, learned the hard way there's a few mistakes you can make that's gonna send some stuff flying across your your room or your shop so um, you know hopefully me showing you this if you're unfamiliar with it um, will save you a little bit of headache at some point um, so these are for Remington 700 and clones this is just my new defiance bolt here um, I will say I have used this process on quite a few different uh, bolts a handful of defiance um, a couple terminus Zeus bolts as well as a few from Lone Peak Arms. Now with that being said, A, I am not super familiar with uh, factory bolts. Um, you know, so if something where you have a Ruger Precision Rifle or maybe a Tika, um, I am not sure if this can be done. Um, so I don't want to mislead you there. I'll also tell you that if you have a bolt, like my Zermatt Arms TL3 here, uh, has the floating head and it has a mechanical ejector, um, so there's actual no no ejector or no spring for us to remove so if it's something where your bolt has a mechanical ejector um, this method would would not work for you so something to keep in mind but for this for the defiance and most Remington 700 clones we have this little round extractor right here um, you know that's what's kicking our case out as we uh, pull the bolt back and extract the case so we'll dive right into it uh, first thing I would like to do is um, remove the firing pin. Uh, a couple different methods you can do that by. And again, all bolts are kind of different. Um, these ones, you can see they have little kind of teeth right here. Um, I mean, I've seen guys just kind of loop this onto uh, one of their shoelaces. If you have something in, the, in your shop or a loading room that can kind of hold on to that while you put some pressure on it, that'll work. Um, if not, what I use is, uh, came with my Fix-It Sticks kit. Uh, just a little tool that they have here. Essentially all we're going to do is clip clip this onto the bolt here like so. It's going to allow us to pull this up and release that tension, that pressure to, to spin it off. So um, again, this was from Fix It Sticks. It did come in a kit that I had bought, but I believe you can purchase it uh, separately um, if needed. So um, in the shop here, I just throw it in a screwdriver. Again, basically just coming in right here. Oops, coming in right here. It's grabbing that bolt, that tension that allows us to lift up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well on camera, but allows us to lift up and spin. All right, that process does take a minute because uh, you kind of have to keep inching it out. But um, as soon as you get it uh, out enough to clear, that's all that's going to slide out. Um, you know, so if it's something where you ever needed to to clean this. Uh, grease it, lube it, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, nice and easy way to do it there. But moving forward, firing pin is out. So now we are again going to move this little ejector here. It is held. You're not going to be able to see it, but it is held with a small pin. So we're going to punch that out. So I just use a little sixteenth uh, punch. And one of the mistakes I made the first time was I didn't have anything underneath it to catch it. So I guess pro tip number one, if you have a, a roll of masking tape, duct tape, something like that, that you can kind of prop this up on, that's going to catch that pin as it shoots out because it is tiny and a uh, good chance you're going to lose it if you don't know where it goes. So we'll just go ahead and punch this out super quick. All right, so the little pin has come out here. I just like to leave it right in my uh, kind of bowl here, if you will. Pro tip number two. So this ejector, uh, it does have a spring in underneath it. Uh, so it is under spring tension. Um, if you were to pull this pin out right now, it is going to go absolutely flying. Uh, unfortunately, I did learn that the hard way. I had to order a new one after I sent one flying across the shop. But super simple way. Just take a piece of brass. I usually keep an old piece of uh, factory brass that I've used around specifically for this. All you're going to do is push that down to take that tension off. 
that is going to fall right out and then you can slowly release it and you're good to go. So that will pull out and then the spring as well will fall out. So I like to throw everything with my brass right in my little bowl here. But now the, uh, the ejector is out. Now you can go ahead and put it in your action and it'll just uh, fall freely with no tension. So putting it back in, exact same way, you know, gonna throw the spring in and then just make sure you have the little uh, detent right here lined up for where the, uh, the little pin will go. So when you put it back in, you're not really gonna be able to get enough pressure on it. It might with your finger, but it'll be close. So I do the same thing. I just use a piece of brass, I push it back down in there, and then while I'm holding that in with one hand, what I'll do is just have this kind of started in here and start tapping it in with the, uh, the little hammer, the little punch set here. So um, holding that, and again, if I wasn't, wasn't filming this, I'd have it laid down here. Once you give this a few taps, it's going to be in far enough to, to hold uh, the extractor, and then you're all set. So. Um, Again, this is the, the method I use to uh, help find my, my lands as I start loading. If this is something you need to do to, to do a little cleaning or something, you know, hopefully this helps. Um, but again, this should work on really any Remington 700 clone bolt that does not have that mechanical ejector. So I uh, hope this helps. Uh, if it's something where you're looking to learn or a few options of how to find your lands go check out the previous video um, i go into that a little bit more uh, but just wanted to keep this a little bit shorter and help you guys out with uh, getting that extractor out if needed thank you